Greetings from Joy L. Wow, things are sure changing a lot, but God's doing some amazing things in this time. I, I want you to look ahead to May 8th. That's a Friday. Now, not just because the governor just extended the stay at home till that time, but because that's the final day for Bible Adventure for this year. And I've heard that some of you are really pushing hard, making the most of this opportunity that we have right now. Thank you so much for going at it. Students need this connection more than ever. They need the real interaction more than ever. Thank you for doing that. Hey, if you haven't heard yet, every day, Monday through Friday at 1.15, streaming live on our Facebook page is biblical teaching and some fun from previous summer camp themes. And then 412 students, you're welcome every day at 4 p.m. to join in for for uh, brief answers to big questions. And there's been some great things, some great teachers there. Even students are teaching some of these. That's really powerful. Then Bible Adventure, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9.30 a.m. on our Facebook Live is teaching related to this year's content. And then we're emailing out a lesson to everyone on Wednesday as well. A lot of great opportunities there. If you haven't yet, double check with your Bible Adventure students. Give them a call and say, are there any verses that you want to do? Remind them of the points that they have. Why is this so valuable? Well, they get God's words in their heart and they might be close to earning another discount or even earning free camp. And yes, we still have every intention of having summer camp if we can do it. Amazingly, and not really so surprising, we keep getting more and more registrations all the time for summer camp. So if we can have it, we're going to do it. There's a desperate need for kids to connect with the Lord that way. And we still have a need for some more summer staff. Now, God's been providing in amazing ways, but need a few more male counselors, female counselor, maintenance assistant. And then we've got a few weeks. We need some nurses and uh, bus drivers as well to help with day camp. I'm excited that May 22nd through the 24th is our rescheduled father-daughter retreat. We still have space available. We're still receiving registrations. Now, like anything else right now, the future is uncertain, but if we can do it, we're going to. Why? Because we know how amazing it is when dads and daughters connect with each other during this time. If there's a way that we can pray for you and you would like prayer, please reply to the email. I'll get it myself and then we'll send it out to the staff so we can pray over these things. You're an important part of Joyelle. Thanks for being with us. May the Lord keep blessing you in the midst of these unusual but exciting times.